Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more. Let's play Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels. Right off the bat, we have Hammer Bros, which sucks because I hate Hammer Bros. But they can be taken out fairly easy, and uh, that's not even the worst instance of the Hammer Bros in this game. Prepare for a long game ahead of us involving Hammer Bros and many near-death situations. That's all I can really say about it. Oh, shoot. I'm gonna grab that stupid mushroom. There's the mushroom I wanted. Okay, so the first thing you need to concern yourselves with, this pipe right here. Do not go down this pipe. This pipe will take you to a warp zone that will take you to World 1. We're at World 3, so that means we'll be going backwards, and we do not want to do that, so... Yeah, we're gonna ignore that pipe for right now. I think you guys can understand, though. It's a perfectly legit reason to avoid a pipe. You don't make progress by going back. Okay, I believe there's supposed to be like a one-up somewhere around here. I don't know where exactly, but there it is. Okay. Yeah, and I believe that one-up only appears if you get all the coins in 2-3, so keep that in mind. There is a secret level or a secret area right here. And this time I didn't die in this level. Okay, apparently you can get enough momentum to get there. But yeah, basically if you do that, you can find the power-up. So, uh... This might seem kind of pointless, but... You know, Fire Flower is always helpful, so... I wouldn't say it was a mistake grabbing that. Don't know if you can get that one up again, though, so... I'm not gonna try. But yeah, that about does it for that level, or maybe not. Okay, here's where the level actually ends. And here's where you can actually go over the flagpole for the first time. But I'm not going to be that stupid, because if you keep going, you'll get a warp to World 1 anyway, so... Yeah, let's grab that flagpole and continue. This actually might be the only instance where you can go over the flagpole. I don't know if you can jump high enough. It looks like you can in other levels, but I don't know if it's something you can actually do or not. Anyway, here's the first water level of the game. You haven't seen one of these yet. And bloopers are actually here where they're where they actually belong, not above land. Still don't understand why they're above land, but in this game, but whatever, it's Nintendo trying to screw with us, I guess. I mean, let's face it, the main characters of this game actually eat mushrooms to uh, get more powerful, so... You know... Nintendo didn't really set the bar for reality very high in this game. <laughs> okay, hopefully we can get to the end without dying. I know, I know we have another blooper coming up here soon. Yeah, there you are, and uh... Oh, wow. I'm surprised I didn't actually die right there, honestly. Okay, that level was a lot more difficult than I thought it was, so... Yeah. Gotta look out for those water levels. So yeah, it looks like World 2 is actually harder than World 3 is, <laughs> ironically. Oh well, I'm not going to speak too soon here. We never know what the Bowser level can bring us. Speaking of the Bowser levels, I don't know which one it is, but um, I have a funny story that goes... Well, not really a story because it like actually happened well I guess it's still a story but um it actually has to do with uh my uh Mario Madness stream event that I hosted about I think three years ago god if it is three years ago that's a long time ago but basically uh yeah when we get to that level I'll talk about it it's a really funny story Thank you. 
it's a funny story that added on to the pain that is actually playing this game. So far, though, I think I've been pretty calm in this game. The only trouble spot I really had was uh, the uh, last Bowser level. And a part of me really doesn't want to grab these coins, but because I'm a risk taker, I'm going to do it anyway. Ah. Dang it! Ah, I could have grabbed that. But I didn't. And I almost just jumped off the level right there. Oh, well, let's just continue. I don't think I'm going to worry about the coins, because I don't think I can collect them all now. Well, fine, I'll go ahead and grab them all anyway. I don't think that'll count, though, for the 1-up and 4-1, but we'll find out. If I can even remember where that 1-up is, because... Yeah, I looked at maps before I did the recording, but I didn't really, like, write them down or anything. I kind of was like, okay, I think I can remember this, and... Knowing me, I probably won't, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Okay, so this is a maze level, so we have to start out by, uh... Basically doing what I didn't do right there. I think you can also get a... Yeah, you can get a super mushroom right here. Don't know how helpful this is going to be, though. But yeah, first we have to start out by going down. Okay, so we can't use a mushroom. That sucks. Fine, I won't use one then. So yeah, we start out by going down. And do we stay down here? Yes, we do. Okay, well, now we'll grab the mushroom. Although, knowing me, we probably can't use it again. Okay, so this part, the game actually plays a little mind game on you. What you have to do is you have to take the top path, but there's no way to get up there. Well, that's because there are coin blocks over here, and that's how you're supposed to get up there. Let's see if I can get back up there. And I think we continue to go up as well. Dang it. Lame. And I believe that's how we solve this. Yep, it is. Hooray! Again, would have been nice to have a mushroom, but... We beat World 3 in only 7 minutes, or, well, no, 8 minutes. It's going on 8 minutes, anyway. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with my progress in this world. See, I'm really not doing that bad, although we're still considerably in the early levels of the game. Okay, so here we have a new enemy. And this is the only new enemy in the game. We have the red piranha plant. Uh, the only difference between the red piranha plant and the green one is that the red piranha plant is faster. And I believe... Uh, actually, no, I think it's just faster. I was getting ready to say that it also uh, will still come out even if you're on the pipe, but I don't think that's true. Okay, well, that's not going to work. I think I have to just do a running jump anyway. Okay, let's try that again. But yeah, red piranha plants are the only new enemies in this game. I'm pretty sure anyway. Okay, let's see if I can... I think you're just supposed to jump over this. Or no, you have to do a running jump. I just wasn't running fast enough the first time. But that's only half the level, so we're not done yet. And I'm willing to bet that there's going to be a poison mushroom in one of these. Yep. Oh, poison mushrooms. You always seem to come when I need a regular mushroom, and... You know, a poison mushroom just doesn't satisfy the needs of someone who needs a regular mushroom. Anyway, pipe right here. Well, and I bet there's gonna be blooper- What?! Okay, buzzy beetles in the water. I mean, I suppose that's not too weird. 
I think bloopers in the sky are still weird th weirder than that, but still. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, and I believe you can also get a vine right here. It's kind of difficult to get, though. Yeah, but I got it. And this just takes us to an area with more coins. I don't know why they have that stupid bar there. Yeah. And that, that actually took us all the way back here, but this is good because... Okay, it's not here because I didn't get all the coins, but there is a 1-up right there. So you can grab that if you're near it. But I can't do that because I'm a loser and everyone hates me and I almost died. Okay, good. I was worried that he was going to throw another spiny down at me, but I got pretty lucky. Okay, World 4-2. Ah, bullet bills. Bullet bills everywhere. Okay, is something over here? Aside from you, Lakitu. Okay. There was probably something over here, there. I just didn't find it. I have a feeling there's not going to be any, uh... Ah, Hammer Bro! Jesus, Hammer Bro. Leave me be, you jerk. Wow, that level is actually... Oh, shoot. Okay, well... Okay, yeah, apparently that warp to world 1 trick is only in, uh, 3-1. So yeah, I guess I was wrong about that. My bad. Because you can also jump over that flagpole very easily. Okay, well, that obviously failed. Let's try that again. Ah. Ah. Oh, stupid jumps. How I hate you. Okay, I just ran off the platform that time. Ah, stupid. Luigi and your stupid traction. Honestly, I would say that Luigi does make this game a lot harder than you think it would be. Because when you think of Luigi, you think just higher jumps, but in reality, I mean, more control is more important than just, you know, higher jumps, I'd say. Okay, well, I think I can actually do this now, now that I know what to expect. Okay, so right here we have a long jump onto a Koopa. There we go. Now we have a high jump to some coins and then a platform. Actually, I don't have to worry about the high trampoline jump when I can just do that. We're definitely at the halfway point, but... Wow, that bullet bill almost got me right there. No! Lame! I don't know if I can get up there now. Oh well. Looks like I'm not getting a one-up!
Okay, so here we go with the Bowser level. And it looks like I'm probably going to end the video after this Bowser level as well. I might be able to fit on 5-1, but... I don't know. Let's see how this level actually goes before I do that. Because we have a fire bar. I believe you can find a mushroom in one of these blocks. You can! Alright. Get it before it falls off. Alright, perfect. And I'll just let these guys kill themselves. Goomba suicide! What? Okay, I freaking hate those pixel perfect hitboxes. Those are so freaking annoying. Uh oh. Hammer, bro. Wait, is this a maze? Oh wow, that was close. Okay, well if I don't die, I'll definitely have time for another level, but... I had to speak too soon. Oh well, we can try this again. Try it once more with feeling. Once again, though, I was doing pretty well. It was just... Okay, again, more Goomba suicide. Actually, I... I don't know if I'll be able to keep Big Luigi here. Just because I think there's one part where uh, you're pretty much forced to become small Luigi. This part right here. Unless I have like a baby jump. Alright, perfect. Well, it doesn't matter because the hammer bro hit me anyway. Lame. Okay. Ah! I should have known that was going to happen, but... I was too ignorant. Oh, pfft. Okay, yeah, stopping right before the mushroom was not a good idea. I'm sure any of you guys could tell me that, but... And I'm sure I could tell myself that, but no, I had to be an idiot. Okay, yeah, well, this way I can try this path again. Okay, coin block. Oh, mushroom. I want that. Oh, wow. I don't know how I avoided that fireball, but... However I did, it was awesome. Jeez. Calm down on the spicy burritos, Bowser. Jeez. There we go. Woo! Okay, well, I think I'm going to end the video right there because I don't know if I'll be able to finish this next level in one minute or not. So, uh, yeah, that's been Slim Kirby. It's been Let's Play Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels. I will see you guys next time for more Lost Levels action. Later, folks.